Hey guys, what's up? My name's Nick, and today I'm bringing you another YouTube video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use BO3 tools to create a BO3. The first thing you have to know is that BO3s can only be 32 by 32 and up to 256 blocks tall. With that in mind, go ahead and create the object that you want. Right now I'm using World Edit and Voxel Sniper to create the object that I need. Once your object's done, you're going to select its entire region using World Edit. Be sure to get as close as you can without cutting off the object. Now go ahead and export the object by typing slash export bo3 space the object's name. I'll write the command down in the description if you need it. It's always a good idea to make a schematic of your build as well. To do that, you'll type slash slash s-c-h-e-m space save space and then the name. Having a schematic is like having a bo3 that you can place manually by yourself wherever you feel it's necessary. When creating trees, it's always a nice idea to include roots. If you include roots, you also want to make a BO3 without roots because that will be the sapling that spawns when a player grows a tree. This will help prevent breaking through things that you don't want broken. Now let's jump into editing the BO3. To find your BO3, open up your plugins folder, then terrain control, then global objects. Here you'll find your new BO3s. Go ahead and cut and paste them into your world objects folder. I'm going to be using Notepad++ to edit these, but go ahead and use whatever you want. You'll notice that the author name is your name because you created it. You should also feel free to change the description to whatever you want. Here you'll notice that I do not change tree because obviously this is not a tree. I also leave the frequency as 1 because I only want one object spawning at a time. I change the rarity to 1.7 because I do not want the object spawning so much. I also set rotate randomly to true because it makes it seem like there are 4 more BO3s. I then set highest solid block instead of highest block because I want it spawning through water. While I don't do it here, spawn height offset will allow me to spawn the object 3 blocks deeper into the ground just in case I don't want it floating over the water. Here I do not change any of the other settings because I do not need to. If you'd like to know what these settings do and you cannot figure it out on your own, feel free to leave a comment down below and I will be sure to tell you what it does. As for the trees go, there will be two types, the one with the roots and the one without the roots. The one with the roots will become the tree that spawns only when the world is created. The one without the roots will spawn whenever a player grows a sapling. With that, you should be able to create your own basic BO3s. Thanks so much for watching, and if you guys liked this video, remember to like, comment, or subscribe. See you guys next time!